What's going on, Jello family? In today's video, I'm going to give you a 20,000 mile review of my supercar, the BMW i8. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, it's 20,000 miles. Let's start with the exterior of the car. So, the exterior has held up pretty well. No major issues or damages with the car. As you can see, we just got the car washed and it still looks really great. We have the front no major rock chips i've seen with this car as you guys know i have a tesla and i see so many rock chips but with this the paint seems like it's much thicker and you're not getting a lot of rock chips and this car has been driven 20,000 miles on lots of freeways highways you name it and no major rock chips i guess you have one over here oh is that yeah like the paint's kind of messed up here but other than that nothing crazy for 20,000 miles and the only real kind of major exterior damage is just through the rims. As you can see, like the rims are kind of like worn down. They've had some some degradation as from just driving the car. And they are there is some curb rash throughout the rims. So that is kind of one thing about the car. This here, it looks like the paint got scuffed. I'm not too sure what happened there, but not a big deal. There's a bug right there too. Um, overall, car looks really great still. Nothing crazy on the front as well as the back. So the back, we haven't seen anything crazy. As you guys know with the i8, there is like a big kind of wind vent over here that allows the kind of car to cool down and go faster. Um, here is my spoiler. Spoiler got on Amazon for about a couple hundred bucks and just kind of scratched up a bit, but nothing crazy, honestly, throughout the car. Here's the side of the car as well. Um, no damage whatsoever. The carbon fiber tub I've kind of noticed is like a little kind of like deteriorating a bit as well as there are some scuffs and scratches over here on the uh, the side rear view mirrors because I'm assuming it's just throwing, going through gar car washes as well as just driving the car from its uh, normal wear and tear. And then down here, you do have a kind of a a uh, PPF protection here to protect this from all the dirt and debris and the rocks that hit the car. So far that's held up pretty well. As you can see, it's just yellowing out um, overall. So overall, the exterior of the car looks really nice. I'll give you guys a full walk around of the car. Car looks good, just freshly washed. Some scratches around the car, but nothing crazy, especially for a car that's what, almost 10 years old now and 20,000 miles in. Barely driven, um, especially throughout the the lifetime of the car so overall car looks really great nothing crazy to complain about with regards to the car so here are the rims as well the rims look pretty good no major damage on the car whatsoever and no major damage here so with regards to maintenance i think this is probably one thing we need to go over it's that the only maintenance so far that I've seen with this car has been the kind of the rear axle over here. So the axle here in the back, it kind of broke. And when it broke, it started leaking oil, which is what happens to most BMWs. And the dealer fixed it for about $3,000. So that was like the major kind of issue with this. But given that this is kind of like a hybrid sports car, that's actually pretty good. That the only real major issue you're really seeing is the the spoiler kind of getting a little damaged. I mean, not the spoiler, I'm sorry, the um, the axle here costing about $3,000 to fix. So let me show you guys now the inside of the car. So as you guys know, BMW i8, it's a carbon fiber tub. And here is all the carbon fiber within the car. As you can see, the carbon fiber tub is almost 10 years old. So it is starting to yellow out. You see yellowing all throughout the car right there, as well as you still have some scratches here the reason there's scratches here is because this is where you sit down, right? In order to get inside the car, let me show you guys. You have to sit down like this, turn your legs around, and then that's how you get inside the car. So doing this, you're going to get a lot of scratches throughout the car. This is a 10 year old car. So of course there's gonna be imperfections without, throughout the entire car. So let me show you guys the interior now. Interior held up pretty well. As you can see the doors, they have shocks. And these shocks, honestly, they are kind of weaker now because there are, if you kind of notice, they're very flimsy. So it doesn't go all the way up. And if it does go all the way up, it tends to droop down a bit. So that's the one thing that's kind of annoying with the car. Not so bad over here with this door, but for some reason, the door on the right does tend to droop a lot. Let me show you. So I'm gonna go back out, make sure that the car is unlocked. And then we're gonna go show you guys that the drooping feature of the doors itself. So these doors are solid. 
but when we go all the way around to the other side of the car you'll start seeing that the car door tends to droop a lot because it is kind of like a used car that has been driven 20,000 miles so here you guys go so as you can see boom put the doors up and the doors droop now that is kind of unfortunate but i think it's only 200 bucks to switch out these uh these over here so get that switched up 200 bucks you can change it yourself rather than going to dealership paying a lot of money to do it but overall i don't really use this passenger side so i don't really bother me but let me also show you guys the carbon fiber around here so the carbon fiber around the door as you can see it is yellowing out now because it is an older car so that has yellowed out um also the carbon fiber around this tub yellowed out kind of degraded a bit but it is a 10 year old car so that's one thing about it all right so overall let me show you guys these passenger side while we're still here passenger side still looks really great i got a lot of stuff over here i know um but nothing crazy just a little dirt here seats have held up pretty well i have a mall s and you guys know that car has seats are like super wrinkled and it's a lot older than younger than this car and these seats 10 years old not a lot of wrinkle which is kind of nice and then as you can see over here the back the back looks pretty good nothing crazy no wrinkle and um nothing crazy here it's because most people can't really fit back here uh which is kind of unfortunate but you do buy a supercar not to fit people but just to drive for fun so overall the glass over there held up pretty well as well that glass is looking good nothing crazy here headrests look good within the car itself so these held up pretty well and overall i'm very impressed with the interior of the car um, a lot better than the tesla that's for sure it just feels a lot more sturdy and more premium <coughs> excuse me I had a little sneeze there so let me go show you back from the front seat and let's go into the interior but overall the car looks great this of course door a little drooping but can't complain uh for the car so let's go back inside also i'm pretty impressed by this vent it's supposed to make the car um cool down faster as you drive it and it's held up pretty well no issues there right, right now i thought it'd be more issues because it's all wide open so nothing crazy there tint on the other hand it's holding up pretty well for 10 years of this car nothing crazy it hasn't bubbled or popped but you got a little imperfections here and there but nothing nothing to kind of be concerned about overall top of the car top has some scratches now just from being parked outside as well as just degradation from the rain um rock chips whatever it may be but overall top has held up pretty well and car still looks pretty great so let me show you the interior now and the front seat the front seat where it is most of the driving has happened you do have some kind of wrinkle on the seat because you're sitting here most of the time and as you can see the leather it is kind of like um wrinkling and deteriorating a bit but it's actually better than the tesla the tesla leather is like very deteriorated i don't know why because it may be fake leather or faux leather but that may be the reason why but overall here is the interior of the i8 it looks pretty good nothing crazy per se um the interior does look a little bit dated but this car was built in 2014 2015 so that makes sense uh, that the interior is outdated here's the sound everyone loves there you go it kind of sounds like tron the movie um but overall sounds pretty cool no issues with the electronics within inside the car also you still have that heads up display as you can see in the front within the car so overall car looks pretty great when it comes to the the um car itself and interior is held up pretty well no major issues with this car so there's one thing about the bmw i8 it being a hybrid supercar um no really major issues which is great i'm assuming if you had like a mclaren or a different type of car you would have a lot of issues so that is pretty cool so let me start the car for you guys so I turn it off and here's how it sounds when you start it as you can see it's pretty quiet i just put it in drive and if you flick this to the left you do get a loud sports mode and you hear the engine of the car. And overall driving has been pretty good. No major issues with regards to driving the car and how it feels. Um, suspension is a little bit bumpy, but I'm pretty sure you're not buying this car for the, the, the what's it called, the suspension and the comfort. It's a, basically a sports car, super car that you just drive on the weekend. So overall for me, how has ownership been for this car? I honestly really like the car with regards to the amount of gas I get. It is a hybrid sports car, so I get about 300 miles of gal of 
of range with regards to the car whenever I fill it up. It costs me about $30 to $40 to fill up the full tank, depending on how expensive the gas is, which is pretty crazy. Uh, for me, this is like my fun car, so I just drive it to and around from uh, like the store or to the gym. My daily driver, where I actually drive the car a lot, is a Tesla Model S Long Range, which you guys have seen on the channel. And that car, that is my daily driver. So for this, I only drive it to and from uh, wherever I need to be. Sometimes even go to work with it. But overall, great car, especially if you're looking to get into a supercar for about forty to fifty thousand dollars. You want to get great gas mileage. This is probably the car for you because it is a hybrid. Uh, for me. I drive on sports mode a lot, so a full tank for me is around 200. But when I was driving to and from work a lot with this car during the summer because I wanted to switch it up, I was getting around 310, 320 or so miles for a full gallon of gas, which is really good. As you can see here, this is the screen. The screen shows you how much you're getting right now, 104 miles of expected range, which is on par to like where I'm getting for 200 miles of range for a full tank of gas if I'm driving it really fast because I like the sports mode on it. So overall, the car has been pretty great to be honest with you. Um, I really enjoy the fact that it is a hybrid supercar and the only gripe I have with it is just, it's honestly hard to get in and out of the car. So luckily I'm still young and I'm able to, I'm still in good shape. I can get in and out the car. Um, pretty easily. I've had friends who are kind of bigger, um, like a lot taller or a little uh, he heavier, and they had trouble getting in and out of the car. So that's the only gripe about it. So unfortunately, I guess you have to stay in shape while being in this car, which is, I guess, a good thing um, because it does get kind of hard to drive. Also, my back has kind of hurt a couple times. I've driven this car like a lot, a lot, a couple thousand miles um, for like just driving to work or driving uh, in traffic and your back will kind of stiffen up a bit just because of how hard it is to get in and out of the car. And then it does kind of get annoying getting in and out of the car. Like the doors are super cool, don't get me wrong, but they tend to really just um, kind of be a hassle after a while, especially if you're driving this every day as daily driver to work um, and to wherever you're trying to go. But if it's a fun car going to the gym or going to hang out with friends or going out to, um, just nearby place then it's a good car but every day it is a little tricky but um, if you do get a supercar and one comfortable comfortable car then probably the i8 is your everyday supercar don't get me wrong it does come with some gripes right overall experience driving the car after 20,000 miles 8 out of 10 great gas mileage it gets a lot of cool looks people are always like what car is that that car is super cool you have a lot of people recording you're like oh my god but overall it's been a fun car the only gripe you have is that one, the interior is outdated because it is an older car. And then two, like it is uh, not as comfortable to drive because suspension can be kind of bumpy as well as getting in and out of the car is a little tricky, um, especially if you are uh, have like some back issues or have trouble getting in and out of cars where the doors go up. So Jello family, I appreciate you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're growing so quickly. Um, take a look at all the other videos. I have my Amazon storefront below as well if you guys want to buy any products that I use for the channel, for my business, um, as well as whatever it may be. So check those links below. Check out my podcast. That's always great. Got a lot of business content over there. And check out all my socials. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, everything. I appreciate you, Jelly Fam. Keep growing the channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.